My playing style, I'm an animal out there on the field, man. <laughs> it's business out there on the field, man. I feel like I'm a beast. Like I tell people, like don't 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 try to describe me as a running back or you know receiver. No, I'm a baller. You know when I get out there, you know it, it's lights out. 84 has got a different attitude with the rock in his hand. I like getting hit. And any chance I get the ball, you know, if somebody in there, I'm gonna try to run you over. He doesn't care what your name is or what your occupation is. You're a problem. I'm I'm trying to bring the hammer. You know. <laughs> This is Cordero Patterson. I'm going to try to get to you. I'm, I'm going to talk my spec. He'll scoot inside the five and score it in. Yeah, the Cordero Patterson gets his second rushing score of the year. Patterson touchdown. Third touchdown of the day for Cordero Patterson. I started playing football, you know, I was, I was younger, like five, six years old. You know, my mama actually got me into it, you know. I think she told me I was getting on her nerves all the time, just being around the house as a, as a little kid, and she wanted me to do something, you know, and she introduced me to football, and I haven't looked back. I took a different route than a lot of guys, you know, a lot of guys don't go to junior college, so I had to go to junior college for two years, you know, and take and get it out of the mud. It really taught me how to be a man, you know, at First time I ever washing clothes on my own when I was in junior college. Calling my mom like, hey, what do I do with this? How I put this in there? It's, it's crazy, man. And seeing the things she did for me and my brother and my sister, you know, she had to work three jobs, you know, just to provide for us. With the 29th pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings flag, Cordero Patterson, wide receiver, Tennessee. When I got an opportunity, you know, to do what I do and playing ball, I'm like, my mom can go out there and work three jobs. I can go out there and play three positions. I don't care where they put me. I'm going to make a play. You can put me at safety. I'm going to get an interception. <laughs> you can put me at DN. I'm going to get a sack. That's just the mindset I have. And nobody can't take that confidence away from me. It's not, I'm not cocky. Never been. But my confidence level is it's above the roof. Let's do it, man. Family on me. Family on two. One, two, three. What motivates me is my family. You know, first it, it was my mom and my sister and my brother, you know, just being the youngest, you know, just looking up to, to my siblings and, you know, my mama, she was, she was a single mother. I talked to my mama and sister probably three or four times a day, you know, just calling each other, just checking up, just checking up on each other, you know, and, you know, they, they always say, well, you should be playing more, you know, you know how your family get, you know, and just <laughs> as a little kid, they say, my, my kids should be out there playing and I have kids of my own, so it's just, you know, just, it just, it just make me strive describe each and every day. Fatherhood changed my life, you know, a lot. You know, just when, they, when kids first born, man, it's, it's just a blessing. You know, just, you know, those kids gonna look up look up me to, you know, the end of time, you know, and I, I gotta be there for those kids, you know, each and every day. And I wanted to know, like, my dad was funny. He was always playing with us, and, you know, he, he just did everything he could to make sure he taken care of the house. And that, that's just something I try to do each and every day. You know, I got it tatted on my lid, Faith Family Football, you know, and, and then the, my three Fs, you know, I, I stick to it, you know, and I'm a big believer in that. And, you know, I always got to put God first before my family and after my family, you know, it's football. I really love Atlanta, man. I, it, it, it really do feel like home. You know, a lot of places I've been to, it felt like home. But this really feel like that, that X factor for me. You know, it, you know it, I'm only three hours away from my, my main home. So it's just like, it, it really feels like home. And I really appreciate you know, all the, the fans and stuff, so I can't forget, I can't forget about those guys. You know, everywhere I go, you know, I always try to make sure I'm a fan favorite. That's just, that's what I do. I'm gonna go win your fans over there. Just, just the atmosphere being here in Atlanta, man. And, you know, I feel like they really embracing the, the, the guy I can really be.